attorney. And I tell y'all, I've been fucked by a lot of lawyers. I might not mind this. Sheila Nephi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sheila Nephi. And uh, like I said, I am a criminal attorney. But I do the usual, everyday, normal, oaky type crimes. Like DUIs. See a lot, a lot of you waiting in the wings tonight. Making a meth lab. Uh, bestiality. <laughs> Is it still bestiality if you just lay there and the animal does all the work? No! No, I, no I, I, I'm not a comedian. I'm just Marley's landlord. I'm just holding this here microphone for him. Waiting for him to get the rent check out in the parking lot. <laughs> I don't think that bitch is coming back. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I, I want to make sure. Thank you, Utopia, for having us tonight. I really appreciate you. you guys give it a Absolutely. I want to make sure you tip your bartenders and waitresses. <laughs> tip them good. I mean, I used to play here, but I, I got this is the first time I've been able to get up here since I've been banned. Well, because I put out a tip jar. Hey, it's okay. I got a lot of tips. The tips were get off the stage, shut up, you're not funny, and next time go brawl us. Oh. Uh, I want to I wanna give a shout out to Oklahoma City Thunder. Anybody watch that? Yeah. Woo! Oh my God. I love Oklahoma City Thunder. I think Tulsa has a little piece of them. Yeah. And I am so sorry that they lost, but they're going to be okay. You know, because they got some new merchandise coming out. They got this new dildo. It's called Thunder Up. <laughs> so I thought I'd try it out. That thing is fucking hardcore. It, but it's okay. You know, I'm used to getting teamed up on by uh, five black guys at the same time. <laughs> oh, I'm not racist. I used to date a black guy. But he kept calling me a honky white bitch. So I just kept calling him the N-word. Nigerian. <laughs> now, seriously, white women? Oh, God. White women need a seven-day waiting period before they even think about having sex with a black man. That will slap a big black warning label on that thing. Side effects of this dick may make a white bitch do some stupid shit. Like cosine. <laughs> and, and put Remus in a shit in their name. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, <laughs> that's horrible. No, us white people, you know, we got a blood sport. It's called WWE Smackdown. Y'all got Black Friday. <laughs> I don't groan. I waited in line this year. I had my eye on a big one named Kiwan. <laughs> They're all bitching all the time. Always talking about reparations and shit. <laughs> we gave you Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> shit. All right. You guys heard that Sandusky, you know, Jerry Sandusky, he was convicted of 45 out of 48 counts of raping little boys. Thank God. Of course, you know, those three counts, you know, that he was acquitted of. That happened back in 1994 when he was a Catholic priest. <laughs> you guys, I, I like to watch the news. I watched this one story about this guy that would put dildos and porn magazines on women's doorsteps. And they were so scared they called the police. <laughs> You know, well, he was hanging out in their bushes and peeking in their windows. Can you believe how this guy's mind works? I mean, what the fuck is wrong with people? Call the police? Shit, sex toys are expensive. Where's my $99 rabbit dildo? Hey, in the news, you know, the Playboy Mansion, they got new security, the Secret Service. 
<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> of course, it's probably the only job they qualify for now. I mean, the, the worst part about the Playboy Mansion is that old guy Hugh Hefner gets a first choice of fucking all the chicks. What the fuck? Like, I'm telling you, if I want to get screwed by an old, nasty, sexually frustrated male chauvinist pig, I'm just going to vote for a Republican. Absolutely. I mean, Secret Service, at least they're being patriotic. I mean, they're sleeping with American hookers now. You saw where they got in trouble sleeping with the Colombian hookers and all the politicians, especially the Republicans, were shocked and dismayed. They didn't find the hookers first. <laughs> yeah, one of the Secret Service took the Colombian prostitute to Obama's room, and he was completely disgusted. He said, at the very least, it was in poor taste, because he'd ordered a Brazilian. <laughs> Usually, I'm so glad to have Jew Girl up here. It was great. It was wonderful. She was great. I mean, usually, I'm the only female that ever gets up here on the stage. All the other comics are young guys. But that's okay. I fit right in with them. Because after the show, none of the girls want to fuck me either. It's hard being a 46-year-old single female trying to meet the right kind of guys, one that's not afraid of commitment. So I thought I'd try online dating. Anybody to try that? Two people? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you all. I know you've all tried it. I mean, what do they got? An e harmony? Plenty of fish. Christian mingle. <laughs> that one sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know what religious people are thinking. Every time I hear Christian mingle, I just picture a Jesus gangbang. Grounds, really? Now, online dating, it wasn't for me. I'm old fashioned. I want a guy to lie to my face. So I thought I found the perfect type guy. He's desperate. He hadn't been laid in months and he's not afraid of commitment. Married men. So I started sleeping with one. My best friend was such a bitch about it. She's like, he's so gross. What an asshole. I can't believe you're sleeping with him. I'm like, she is such a hypocrite. She married him. I always meet those creeps. You meet him in a bar just like this. They don't look at your boobs. They look you directly in the eyes and say, so how old are you boys? I'm like, none of them. I've had plenty of kids, just none of them made it. Past the first trimester. I know it's a sensitive subject, but I'm pro-choice. Anybody else? One? I'm telling them anyway, fuck it. I mean, I mean what the pro-lifers, they get... They get to voice their opinions all the time. What well, they got in the back of all their minivans, that bumper sticker, what's it say? Abortion stops a beating heart. Well, let's just be honest about it. Abortion really just stops a beating. <laughs> and it'll stop a beat down. Bitch, you pregnant? <laughs> Anybody ever take that abortion pill? You don't have to raise your hand. Uh, no, no, I'm just kidding. It's like, if you read past the side effects, it says, do not take this abortion pill if you feel you might be pregnant. I'm like, what the fuck, drug companies? So I just take it every month just to piss off my Catholic friends. I want to say before I leave, uh, you know, I hate that my gynecologist is all thumbs. I'm kidding. I don't hate it. Of course, sometimes I think my gynecologist is coming on to me. Medical reasons to look up there, my ass. Of course, he could make me feel better when I go into the office, like, dim the lights. Or, instead of those cold stirrups, replace them with pink fuzzy handcuffs. Or, shake it up once in a while, throw in a butt plug. Hell, that's why I like my dentist so much. Anyway, thank you guys very much. I'm so Here we go for Sheila!